Hello again, this is Doug, the Two-Minute Gardener, wishing you a very happy new year. Time for another edition of Landscape Makeover. I like to call this one the Backyard Resort. So this particular couple had a backyard that was just stuck in the 90s, as so many are here in San Diego. And it was kind of just broken up with this brick coping, these seating walls that really kind of chopped up the entire backyard. It had a weird misfunctioning um, fire pit. And then over by the pool area, it had just a mishmash of different levels that really didn't coalesce into a really nice uniform area. And again, brick coping just everywhere. It was just an unattractive uh, backyard is for a really beautiful view. I mean, they had a great view in their backyard, but it was just kind of a mishmash of pillars and fences and brick and it just wasn't an attractive look. So I did a big design and we got cracking on this and of course as always the first thing we do when we started is we bring in the baby bobcat and just start having at everything and it was a lot it was about 30 tons of block and brick and dirt and everything out of this backyard it took three weeks to demo and grade everything it was quite a big big effort they also decided to redo the pool at that time so they ripped the plaster ripped the tile ripped the coping so again there was just an insane amount of debris going out to the front driveway and then up into the regular bobcat into the dump trucks that just lined up and they just kept hauling it away and hauling it away all right so we've demoed all that stuff we got it all out of there now it's time to start demoing down to grade um and setting our levels. One of the tricky parts of this yard was that it sloped towards the house, which created a few flooding issues. So in the design, I created two different areas. I created an area that was level with the back door, and then about four inches higher was the lawn and the pool and everything else. And so by leveling it off and installing drains, it took care of the flooding issues while maintaining this wonderful view. So it took about a month of demoing and then great and then flattening it out, putting in the drains. You know, let's be honest, the stuff that is really necessary but kind of boring. But once that's all done, then it's time to start building it back up. So first up, we started with the swimming pool deck. We demoed all that out of there because it was all kinds of of ugly cracks and bad levels and now we're going to start with a two-part process first up is the concrete now because there was no access to the backyard we were going to have to pump all the concrete into the backyard and the way that works is you pump it through this series of hydraulic pumps it goes into these long hoses and it pounds it all the way back it was 20 tons of concrete that had to get pumped through this uh, four inch hose all the way around the side of the house all the way to the back to the pool area where the guys are working on grading all of that stuff and so it was a time consuming process it took a whole day to get it all out there pumping it through and of course we have rebar reinforcement everywhere now because this concrete was going to be covered with flagstone it didn't need to have any of the usual finishing touches to it it just needed to be nice and level and the grade set while they were working on the concrete another crew was building a retaining wall on the side of the house to give them even more space including a little notch there for a storage shed so we had crews working all different places in this particular project all right the concrete has dried it's time to start laying the flagstone so as you've seen in earlier videos flagstones are really beautiful materials to work with uh they're actually not that expensive material wise but it's very time consuming as you can see the crew it takes a long time of putting the pieces in tweaking them around trying to get it all to work 
Um, and it's just a very time consuming process and that's why it's much more expensive. This particular pool deck costs about $40 a square foot because of the concrete and the time consuming nature of the flagstone. By the way, this was red sockeye salmon, a really beautiful color, lots of variation in it. It was just gorgeous. All right, so while the guys are, some guys are working on the pool deck, other guys are working on bringing in the base material for establishing the lower patio and setting up the grade for the upper play area, including a new pathway. All right, lower patio area. So there they wanted a different look from the flagstone. They picked these wonderful porcelain pavers from Italy. Just gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And the guy started laying that. And as you've seen in other videos with pavers, you have the base material, then the leveling sand, and then these pavers sit on these little notches to hold it in place. <clears throat> kind of overlapping once they've built part of the patio then it was time to bring in the barbecue guys now these are the bar guys from barbecue grill outlet wonderful modular barbecue that these guys built they fabricated it in their fa in their uh, factory and then they brought the whole thing over prefabricated had to do a few little adjustments to deal with house pipes as you can see there a little custom cutting um, but it's a really neat and pretty fast way to build a barbecue because they use prefabricated modules and they just do some minor adjustments to that. Once the frame is in with the barbecue, then they put on the cement board, screw the cement board on. And the purpose of the cement board is a, a couple fold. fold First of all, it creates an outer skin of the barbecue that then you can stucco coat, or as you're about to see, we did a stone facade on. Um, but it also is a wonderful way to support different kinds of apparel and give rigidity to the barbecue. So the cement board is all put in. It's all finished. It's looking just gorgeous. And it's almost ready for the stone facade and for the finishing touches of the appliances. While that is going on, the guy, other crew is working on continuing the patio uh, out towards where the TV room and the big shade structure are going to go. So we have this beautiful wood shade structure out there. Now the tricky part about this project is you can kind of see that there were several different parts that were kind of meshing all together. Well, one crew was doing the barbecue, another crew was doing the shade structure, and they had to wait until that was built to then finish doing the porcelain patio. While all of that was going on, the crew was coming in from Capstone to do the remodeling of the pool where they added the new pool coping, the new tile, and the new plaster. So a lot of moving parts in this. Uh, Juan from the Unique Landscaping did a great job coordinating all these different act accents and all these different vendors coming in to do this big backyard remodel. All right, so the guys are working on the pool, the barbecue, the wooden shade structure, and let's go back to the flagstone. They have finally finished all the pieces and laid out every single piece all the way around the patio and the pathway. Now it's time to mortar all these in place. So these get put in with a nice little concrete mortar, kind of lock them in really nice and tight. They did a great job with this. It took a month to do this flagstone. It was just that time consuming with all of the pieces. These two guys were just at it for a month. It was just an amazing job. Once that is all mortared in, locked in place, then it's time to do the grout work. Now with the grout work, it's kind of a fun little process. It's like they shove this grout into what looks like a cake cutter bag and a cake decorating bag and then kind of squeeze it into all the different cracks. And again, the purpose of this is to really lock in every single piece of flagstone. Then that little grout is, uh, once it's squeezed in, is kind of troweled into a nice flat area. And then the guys do a nice little job of washing it all off, cleaning up every one of those letting that completely dry before it seals. All right, so some of the guys are working on the grouting and uh, the other crew is working on putting on the stone facade on the barbecue. We got this from MSI, these wonderful stacked stone panels. This one's called Tuscany Scabus. And again, what's great about these is you're not putting on individual pieces. These are these nice six by 24 panels. Okay, same thing, they get mortared on right onto that cement board. Again, that's the purpose of the cement board. It adds virginity to the entire barbecue and creates a skin that you can then attach 
the stone facade to. And it takes you know a couple of days to get all of this in the ice stone facade work. It does come with corners. You don't have to worry about making these custom cuts, these beautiful corners. So again, this particular material came from MSI. And there you have it. Barbecue now has a nice tile top and it's ready for the appliances. We're gonna wait on that until we are done with all of the pavers and a few other things. Now, remember what I said about two different levels. So the lower patio, the one right next to the house, is the bottom level. And right along the edge of that, notice that there are drains right there. We've sloped it away from the house toward that little concrete stem wall. So the stem wall creates the little four-inch step up for the upper patio. And that's how we conquered the elevation change between the lower patio and the upper play area where the dog was going to enjoy. In the lower patio, we also built a custom fire pit and a TV cabinet, which we're going to put a nice matching stone facade on all right now it's time to start bringing in some plants now we brought in some nice podocarpus to create an instant wall some wonderful pool area plants again we have guys working everywhere some guys are working on the barbecue some guys are working on plants and irrigation and the lights once all that is cleared out then it's time to bring in some artificial turf yeah they decided to go artificial because they just didn't want to deal with that and as you saw in the previous video uh, two weeks ago artificial turf is a great way to have a nice green thing there's wonderful infill all right so the turf is in the last little part is to seal the flagstone really important that you seal this especially if it's in a backyard party area because this stuff protects the flagstone against spills and it keeps it nice and beautiful looking all right time for the big reveal here it is before I remember it was just all these ugly little stem walls that kind of closed everything off the fences it served no purpose the pillars and that ugly ugly brick oh my god what a yucky yard the doggy just couldn't run around everywhere that a little dog wanted to go now we have this beautiful flagstone pool deck, a pool that has this wonderful coping and new plaster and new tile and a nice privacy hedge on the one side so that the neighbors can't pee, can't see into the swimming pool area. Again, really beautiful job, including lights on the steps down there. And then on this other side, we have the nice big lawn for the dog to play in that transitions to the really big outdoor room with the giant TV cabinet, custom built wall cabinet um, with these beautiful doors that kind of enclose it when it's uh, having some inclement weather with the fire pit and the living room. Nice outdoor furniture too, by the way. Client did a beautiful job picking out furniture for this and then it leads over to the barbecue itself. A nice big open barbecue, kind of the hub of all of that area with the tile top. The barbecue comes came with a the refrigerator, the barbecue, and then a flat grill as well. So they could really cook up some really elaborate meals in this backyard resort area that we have created for the clients. Um, again, really nice job with the stone facade and the tile work as there. And again, back to the TV, nice wireless uh, receiver there in the TV cabinet, all kinds of fun things they can watch. And then it closes up when it's not being used. Um, and then some really beautiful custom cut, uh, touches the client picked out. And there you have it. So that is our backyard resort transformation. I wanna give a big shout out to Juan Montana of Unique Landscaping. Their crew worked so hard on this backyard for almost three months. It was just amazing how long it took with all the pieces to kind of coordinate everything. And there you have it. Well, that's all the time we have for now. Hey, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to get more of my guard videos. Until next time, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener saying thanks for watching.